Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. He's pressing all the right buttons now. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, wow. Oh, after that, you're not seeing stars. You're looking at constellations. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Look, the title's not on the line, but the champ can't afford to look past this. If he does, he could lose momentum or even worse, get an injury. And he might have to do this by himself. His partner doesn't have much left. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Sheamus turns it around. <laughs> For a big guy, Sheamus sure is sneaky. Clearly trying to take out the back here. Look out, here's the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Man, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex performed to perfection. He is just getting busted up. Seamus dominating the early going. With the tag is Randy Orton. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Quick thinking to avoid that. Let's talk a little bit about what Randy Orton brings to the ring. I mean, this third-generation superstar has been called the Legend Killer, the Viper, and the Apex Predator. These monikers all point to the same fact, that Randy Orton is one of the most opportunistic superstars ever in the WWE. That's it. He's done. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Not today. Too fast. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. Where did this explosion of offense come from? And listen, King, opportunistic is a good way to describe Randy Orton, but he is also dangerous in every aspect of the point. Right. The head games this man plays set him apart from all his competitors. Well, I have to agree with you there, Michael. Even before Randy Orton steps into the ring, he inserts himself into the head of his opponent, finding that weakness so he can capitalize on it when his opponent's least expected. Oh, I think this man means business. And now he's back out on the apron. Looking to catch him off guard. Quick ref count. Just making his presence felt there. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Makes the cover. Come on, ref. His feet are on the ropes. Here we go. Two. Everybody's in the ring now. You can bet that the crowd knows the history of Randy Orton. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Uh-oh. He's in position. Ready to strike. Uh-oh. Look at this. He had five. This one's over. You're right, Cole. Nobody gets up from an F5. Wow. Now, here he goes for the win. Let's do this. Two, three. They got it. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one.
Now let's take a look at some of the big highlights. Here are your winners, Dangerous Dylan and the Russian Gladiator, Yuri Kazarian. You want to talk about a tag team war? We most definitely witnessed just that. This was from bell to bell, a clinic in tag team wrestling. Kudos to everyone. I love tag team matches, and that was one of the best I've seen in a while. That's what I like to call a statement win, Michael. And it'll be interesting.